if you ever done something and you felt really awful about it and you thought, oh, I'm a terrible person, I'm a bad person, I'm, I'm weak, I certainly have. I certainly have. Today, I want to talk about why behavior or actions do not define you. And if you stay until the end, I have a natural point for you then as well. I've been quite stressed recently. And I think it's a, a combination of going really deep into myself and then perhaps uh, developing habits where I've had to give up things like alcohol, for example, where, uh, you know, I can't like roll up, blow off some steam and go out partying and I really have to face some things and, and increase of uh, responsibilities, uh, leadership, management responsibilities and things like sales and uh, new work and all sorts of things like that. Podcasting does not stress me out. It's just fun. It's just creative. Uh, it's all good. And like I found myself at times and haven't come back, but actually my behavior, sometimes I'm going very direct at people. And then like my mind has started to judge and go, you're quite like an angry, aggressive person. Am I though? I really don't think I am. I would not define myself before. But Sometimes we do actions and behaviors, and for me, well, I've certainly done that, and I'm like, hmm, maybe that defines me, even though unconsciously I'm doing this, right? Or maybe there's a pattern or wound inside of me when I've experienced it or witnessed it or something before, and then I start getting this definition. I had a certain um, uh, relationship with um, last year with someone, in one of, and it was it caused me to behave in certain ways that, you know, not aggressive or anything, but in quite, quite a lot of fear. And I find myself maybe doing one or two things that are a bit, a bit more like of my sort of insecurities and weaknesses, um, or not weaknesses, really bad word, maybe coming from a place of fear led, not necessarily courageous, and as strong as uncertain as I am in all other areas of my life, because I was getting impacted and triggered and certain like wounds in me. And then I thought, wow, I'm a really insecure person at times, admittedly. Um, and really, when I thought about it, although there's wounds to look at there, and it's still an ongoing journey, I realized that we can all act in certain ways when given a certain situation that happens to us. Yet I don't believe it defines us. I think it's there to just shed light on perhaps some wounds that we need to look at. Now, the thing is, for me, I used to spend most of my 20s just like covering them up again, just going out. Like if it didn't work out some woman I was dating or relationship or something, for example, instead I would like feel a bit like hurt, but then I'd just go out like drinking again. I just would not look at it. Um, or go and just like focus all on my sport or focus all on my career and just bury my head. And I had a situation, well, a couple of situations last year where it like got so intense that I was just like really struggling to focus. My stress was so, so high. Um, and my body was in this intense like fight or flight response. And I found myself like getting a bit more direct with people. Uh, in that certain uh, relationship with the person I, I found myself um, saying things I wouldn't usually say and, yeah, not acting in ways I would consciously choose to, right? Um, and I think that just goes to show we're all human. Now, obviously, there's some things people will do which are like completely out of line and it, what's out of line and stuff like that. You know, I'll leave for you to decide what it is for you and what isn't. But just because maybe you've done something, you know, we can't change the past, I've realized. Well, I should have realized before, but when you really go through it, you truly realize it. When you live something, it's different from just like knowing about it or hearing about it. I've realized that behavior does not define me. But like, it's just an opportunity to like look deeper what's inside me, right? And it's not saying I'm going to act perfectly the rest of my life because I'm not. I have an intention to be a kind hearted human being, speak my truth and lead with courage 100%. Yet there's going to be things that are going to impact me and that's going to allow me to journey deeper. So 
I want to go through a few bits of guidance here on this one today. Firstly, really start looking at your identity. I found that when I've written out an identity of who I am or who I truly believe I am and want to be, and when I say want to be, I already am, and I read it again and again and again, it reminds me of who I am. And when I start looking at it, I like think again and again of all the evidence of how I represent all those things. So courage, I'll be like, okay, I had that real difficult conversation, that person, or um, I did, I led like a breath session, like I did the other day when I'm talking about courage or something, right? Energy, like I'm running, 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 running and playing lots of football. I am energy. So I'll start reading all these things, right? Heart driven. I'll think of all the times I've given to uh, charity, like when I've been kind to someone. So then that really enforces that identity within me. So write yourself an identity, starting with I am, and then just use what you want to put after that. And then just remind yourself why you're all those things. Because if you can really remind yourself again and again, it's going to allow you, well, I find I'm more likely to default to that identity I've chosen right? The second one, forgive yourself, forgive yourself and other people, because there's not, it's, and I'll tell you what, it is testing at times to forgive other people. And I know there's some things people do in the world that maybe some of us can't get to a level of forgiveness. We've seen some um, remarkable acts of forgiveness in the world when <laughs> people have done like really the worst things to like people close to them or whatever. Um, and I'm not saying we need to do that. But if you can get to a place where you can forgive others and yourself as much as possible, that's really going to allow you to release some of that anger I found, some of that resentment, because that just makes it worse. And then I found that creates even more stress and makes me act in not so favorable ways as well. The third one, just look at the consistency of your habits. Be Make some very simple habits and then make that define you. So if you're like, I am a person who goes to the gym, put yourself and you want that identity, but you're like, oh, it's too hard. Or just put yourself a habit of going to the gym for like even 10 minutes a day, right? Because then you will become a person who goes to the gym if you just put like 10 minutes. And uh, James Clear, who wrote the book Atomic Habits, had he put a client who hated going to the gym, made him go just turn up for five minutes, stay there for five minutes and go home. That's all they had to do. And they ended up just doing full on gym sessions because they were like, oh, I'm here now. So if you're creating habits, make them easy and simple, and that's going to develop into something that's going to create more of an identity. So don't make your behavior too complicated. And the fourth one, journaling, journaling it out as well. So start looking at some of your behavior and maybe things that weren't so favorable and start like understanding yourself, getting it out on paper, getting it out of your head, because that's going to allow you to release some of those high emotions as well. Okay. The extra point I want to say is sending love every single day to yourself and to other people. It's a, it's one I've got into and it's hard to do some days. Maybe when I'm a bit more moody, had a lack of sleep, but I make the intention to do it every single day. And the more I do that, the more connection and love I feel uh, connected to people and feel better about life and myself as well. Just try it. Just sit with yourself every single morning or evening or both and then just send out love as much as possible, particularly to people maybe you've had a disagreement with in the past, right? Because then that creates more of a better vibration I found in my life and therefore allows me to therefore act in better ways as a result. So that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You're improving other people in your life by working on yourself as a man. And remember to leave with your heart, not with fear.